Well, hey, it's Heidi, and today we're going to talk about how to turn down that date you don't want to go on at all. How can you do this politely? Stay tuned. It's Heidi Dulaban, International Cultural Consultant and Etiquette Expert. Today, we are going to talk about how to turn down a date politely. Oh, okay, someone has mustered all their guts to ask you out on a date and you don't want to go. You just plain do not want to go. So how are we going to turn them down with grace? Why? Or you're going to employ all those etiquette skills that you have and you're going to be that kind, caring person that you are because you've recognized that someone has mustered all their courage to ask you out. And it's very flattering when someone has asked you out. And flattery is a form of a gift. And what do we do with gifts? We send a thank you note in return, right? So you can be a very kind person and still turn someone down. So you're going to recognize this, this flattery, this gift of asking you out. And you could start off and simply say, Thank you very much. I'm flattered that you've asked me, but... Okay, so now after the but, we, he knows, she knows what's coming. So we need to be open and honest. Yes, not brutally honest. You can still be kind, but you can just be honest. You don't want to give false hope right? I mean, no one does. People appreciate and they respect honesty. So let's just take it. Okay. Thank you. I'm, thank you very much for asking. I'm flattered, but I am in a relationship right now. So it's not possible for me to date. Thank you. And I wish you lots of luck. That's it. End it. Okay. Or after the but, we can fill in the blank with lots of different things. Uh, um, no, thank you, but I am married. It is not possible for me to date. Thank you very much. Uh, any, you can fill in the blank with whatever it is, but you do ne not need to be demeaning or to hurt someone's feelings intentionally. You would never say something like, oh, what, are you crazy? I'm not going to go out with you. No, you're not that kind of person. You're you're kind and caring. So, you know, this is somebody's feelings. You know, so you don't want to do that. You wouldn't want someone to do that to you. So always take the high road and just engage that honesty, right? Okay, so you can simply say, say there's just no chemistry, very nice person, and you could just say that. You could say, well, I'm flattered you've asked me. Thank you very much. But you know, you are a great person, but I'm just not feeling that there's any chemistry or a lot of attraction there with us. So, but thank you. And I wish you all the luck in the world. And just there, no false hopes. You just said, they're great. Just no chemistry with you. So you can always sort of bring it back and put it on you. If that helps you engage a little more politeness. So I hope this helps a little bit. Remember, acknowledge that they they took a lot of guts to ask you out. Thank them. It's flattering, but fill in the blank with what you have. And remember, you know, don't be brutal, be kind, and don't offer false hope. You know, you could be in this situation, though, where you've just come off a very long relationship and it's it's ended. Uh, it didn't matter if it ended well or poorly. It's just ended and it's just the timing is not right. In this case, you could say, well, uh, thank you for asking. I'm flattered, but I've just ended a very long relationship and I am just not uh, in the mindset to see anyone for quite some time. I need a lot of time and space right now, but best of luck to you. And there you go. That's, that's it. So whatever your situation is after the, but fill in the blank and then say, thank you. I wish you lots of luck. You know, it's, there's nothing against this person or against you. Just not a good fit for whatever reason, myriad reasons. 
Hope this helps a little bit. Please, how's it going for you? How did you turn down your last date you didn't want to go on? I'd love to hear about it. So please be so kind. Drop me a comment. Oh, I'd be so grateful if you'd kindly subscribe to my channel. And please, um, as I always say, when you're out there dating, please be kind.